In 1829, De Bruyne introduced the law of triads. A triad is a group of three elements having same physical and chemical properties. According to law of triad, when elements are arranged on the basis of increasing atomic masses in form of triads, then atomic mass of middle element is equal to the average of atomic masses of the other two elements. So there are three important points. First, De Bruyne classified the elements on the basis of their atomic masses. Second, he made triads and third the mass of the middle element is equal to the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements in the triad. Now let us look into the examples of the De Bruyne's triads. There are two triads in front of you. First consists of lithium, sodium and potassium. Second calcium, strontium and barium. They the elements in one triad have same chemical properties and the middle element that is sodium and strontium their mass is equal to the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements in the triad you can calculate it now what are the limitations of de Bruyne classification de Bruyne made three tri triads mean he classified only nine elements so the number of elements that he classified that was very small and secondly this law fails for very light and very heavy elements but there is a merit of de Bruyne classification that it was for the first time he introduced the concept of the groups or the vertical columns in the classification of the elements